All right, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala Yahweh Bashim Yao Shai, Bashim Rakwakwadash, the Ablanis to the Ad Apostles of Great Millstone at Ruwell, and peace and salutations to all the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad, all around the country and all around the world, through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yao Shai. So, pretty much right now, Esau's setting the mood right now. You know, he's setting the mood of preparing. You know, for this RFID chip to be put in place. And we know this through the spirit of prophecy, which, you know, once again, you know, the elder apostle to heart dubbed this year, you know, the year of prophecy. So we know through the spirit that Esau sent in the mood through this coronavirus to justify him implementing this RFID microchip. You know, however, you know, how, how however he um, presents it or, you know, or introduces it, you know, to the world. We don't know how he's going to do it, but, you know, but we got an ID, but, you know, brothers in the truth, we got an idea that this is how he's going to do it, you know, because he got something called order ab chaos, which means order out of chaos. So. What is his MO? His MO is to set up this new world, his new world order. And what is his new world order? It's going to be through this RFID chip. So this is why you see all this chaos, all chaos <coughs> and all matter of um, things going on. You know, you got to make sure, you know, sports events being shut down, you know, other countries shutting down their their businesses and everything and everything is just going into a total total lockdown you know martial law so pretty much we know through the spirit that you know Esau doesn't have much time left and this is now now he's starting to set the mood you know so he can implement this chip but um and this whole coronavirus thing is just all nonsense. It's all smoke and mirrors. This is a thing that they're going to use to hopefully push this their new world order and agenda, which is to implement that chip. So this is why they Esau got people in a panic, you know, scared, buying up, you know, toilet paper, water, going all crazy. You know, it's no different than... You know, that pipeline, you know, that that burst and the whole water got contaminated and you had all people going out of their minds and buying up water. You know, it's, it's no different, you know, and pretty much those were just test runs. And now, you know, this is the real deal. Now, Esau's bringing out the real deal, you know. So. Pretty much right now, Esau's just setting the mood right now to prepare the people, you know, and to accept in this chip, you know. So without further ado, let me just jump into this article. Um, this is from the New York Times, and um, this is what it says. It says, Corona Live updates, chaos at U.S. airports, new restrictions on international travel around the world. A top U.S. official, a top U.S. health official urges personal sacrifices to avert a worst case scenario. Passengers returning from Europe and are waiting hours at U.S. airport for health screening. So it says right now, this is in Puerto Rico. It says Puerto Rico is closing all businesses except supermarkets, pharmacies, gas stations and banks. And is instituting a curfew from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. You see? Now they're, in, they're implementing a curfew now. Now you can't be out, which is martial law. You know, that's martial law right there where they have to implement a curfew, you know, to prevent people from going out. You know? And ultimately, it's going to come over here to the United States. You know, it's already... It's already here in um somewhere in um um in New York. I forgot the town's name, but um 
pretty much is locked down over there is pretty much martial law. But this thing is going to be on a large scale. Because ultimately, all around America, there will be cur curfews that they will implement. So you won't be able to go out at certain times of the night. You know, you won't be able to be out on the streets at certain times of the night. You know, so this is how deadly serious this thing is. You know. Let me just read on. A top U.S. health official says Americans should be prepared to hunker down. You see, hunker down, what does that mean? Martial law. You know, you won't be able to go nowhere. You know, they're going to have you in your homes. They're going to have you locked down. And ultimately, this is this Esau sent in the mood, and it's going to get even more worse. A top U.S. official said on Sunday that stronger efforts to slow the spread of the coronavirus would roll out over the next several weeks. Several weeks. A period he um, characterized as um, critical for controlling the outbreak. Apparently... Um, apparent across a number of of a number of Sunday morning news programs, Dr. Anthony S. Frechi, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infections Disease, said that travel bans enacted last week would help Chrome transmit um transmit um transmitting but the U.S. citizens would have to make personal sacrifices and comply with government guidelines to avoid a worst-case scenario, you see? U.S. citizens to apply with um, government guidelines to avoid a worst-case scenario, you see? And you already got these churches, um, in particular in Boston... You know, you already got these churches already complying. And these these churches are going to be the main institutions, you know, to tell their congregation to accept and to do what the government tells them. And they're going to justify it. Like we said, you know, like we've been saying it for years, they're going to justify it by using Romans, the 13th chapter, you know. They're going to justify it by using the Romans, the 13th chapter. Because now these churches are now closing their doors and saying, telling their congregations to stay home and to watch um, services online, you know. So we, we see how where this is going and we see, <coughs> so like, yeah, we see through the spirit, you know, Esau's already starting to set the mood and he's setting the mood in a, <laughs> in a worse, um, in a worse way. But, you know, it's not going to affect brothers like um, men of the Lord like us. You know, those that are in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Because we already see it, see this in the spirit. On NBC, on NBC's Meet, Meet the Press, Dr. Fauci's condones Americans should be prepared that they are going to have to hunker down scientifically more than we as a country are doing so what does that mean you know they're gonna pretty much tell people to stay in their homes like nobody's not going anywhere you know we already see these colleges you know these prestigious colleges like harvard you know in boston you know they're telling their kids you know their students that they got to leave their dorms and go home you know Hunker down, you know. So this is what's going on. This is what you see. You know, this is what's taking place. And it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. And even more worse. Like we've been saying for years.
While the Trump administration has banned international travels coming from high-risk countries and regions such as China, Iran, and much of Europe, Dr. Fitchy said domestic travel restriction has been seriously discussed and I don't see the right and I don't see that right now or in the immediate future he said on this week's but remember we are very open-minded about whatever it takes to prevent to preserve the health of American public you know which is all bullshit they're not trying to preserve the health of American public they're just using this to implement their new world order agenda you know this is the whole purpose of them, you know, shutting everything down and resetting because ultimately the economy is going to crash and it's just going to be utter chaos. But I'm I'm just going to stop right there, right there at this article and just go into the scriptures. You know. So I'm going to start at the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 2 verse 16. So it reads, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrow and great mourning. Because right now we're, be we're in the beginning of sorrow and great mourning. So by the article that I, we rec that I was reading, you know, they're going to ultimately start a curfew and tell people to just stay in their homes. The same thing that they're doing over there in China, where the government told people to stay in their homes. And when you looked on the news that, you know, towns were just ghost towns, nobody was on the street. You know, nobody was out. Even right now, you know, even right now in Boston, you know, you got less people out as, as it was, you know, like two or two or th two or three weeks ago. You know, you got less people out. You got less people out, you know, than it was two or three weeks ago when, you know, you had a lot of people that were out. But now you're seeing these streets slowly, you know, be t turning into ghost towns. Like nobody's out on the street as they were, you know, two or three weeks ago, you know. So, verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall st stand in fear, the beginning of evils, what shall, ye, what shall I do when these evils shall come? You see, right now we're living in evil times right now. We're living in very evil times. You know that 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 mercy gate is um is closing very rapidly right now because right now we're about to enter into some very, very serious evil times you know behold famine verse 19 behold famine and plagues tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. You know, these things are sent as scourges for amendment. You know, the famine. You know, and everything is set as scourges for amendment. And you're seeing it taking place right now. You know, you're seeing these famines and these things taking place right now as we speak. You know, you got the locusts over there in um, Africa that's totally destroying and eating up the crops. You know? <coughs> Slack, yeah. Then this plague with the coronavirus and tribulation. So we're about to enter in some great tribul and some great serious times, you know?
Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. You see, when, when you have all these things that are taking place, you know, they're not going to turn. People are not going to turn from their wickedness, you know. They're just going to continue on in their wickedness and then their evil. Like, let's say if they come up with a vaccine and everything is all right and everything goes back to normal. You know, people just go back to sleep and go back to doing the wickedness that they were doing. You know, but this time around, it's not going to be so this time around. You know, because these scourges are going to be here to stay and they're going to just get even more tense and tense and tense. Just like a woman when she's getting ready to give birth to our baby. You know, those birth pains get tense and tense and tense and they don't stop. And those pains and those anguishes don't stop until the baby is finally born. So this is the time right now where we're in, you know, because Esau's kingdom is on its way out. And the kingdom of Jacob, which is the kingdom of Israel, is on its way up, on its way up. You know. The sun is setting on Esau's kingdom and the sun is rising on Jacob, you know, the kingdom of Israel on our Lord, who is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And where does the sun rises? The sun rises in the east, you know, and that's where our Lord is going to come from. He's going to come from the east. And he's going to bring us back to the east where our land, where our homeland is, you know. And that's where the sun is going to rise. And that's where we're going to rule as a nation in the east. Just like the sun is setting over here in the west. The sun is rising in the east, which is our kingdom, the kingdom of Israel. So reading on. Behold, victual shall be sold. Behold, victual shall be sold cheap, good cheap upon the earth. They shall think themselves to be in good case, to be in good case. And and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine and great confusion. And you're seeing these evils grow upon the earth, the sword, the famine and great confusion, because there's nothing but straight confusion in this world um you know men marrying when men marrying men women were marrying women you know people talking about marry um marrying their computers or you know like just all types of madness you know having sex with animals all types of evils and madness and confusion you know Verse 22, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy them. What is that sword? The thermonuclear missiles. That's what's going to destroy them. You know. And the dead shall be cast out as dung and there sh shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the cities shall and the cities shall be cast out as done there shall be no man left to tell the earth and and to sow it the trees shall yeah i just can't, can't read this old english but you know, pretty much, you know, all in all that, you know, Esau's just coming down, you know, and he's coming down with great wrath because he knows that he got but a short time. Let me just get that real quick, you know. So this is Revelations chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell, and ye that dwell in them, woe well unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he got but a short time. You see? 
He knows that he got but a short time. Esau knows that his time is almost up. So this is why he's moving rapidly and we're moving swiftly right now, you know, into setting up his new world order. You know, and we know through this disaster, through this um through this so called pandemic that he declared, this is how he's gonna use it, you know, to implement his new world order, which is that RFID microchip. Which he's gonna implement that chip, you know? And that's how he's gonna do it. That's how he's gonna bring this whole thing into fruition. You know? So with that, you know, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Rakwakwadash, the blonde to the head apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel, peace and salutation to the Yaqim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad, all around the world. And with that, I want to say Shalom.